Hi, my name is Richard Walters. In this demonstration, we're going to look at manual scheduling tasks as well as auto scheduling tasks and the difference between the two types of scheduling. In this demonstration, we're going to look at manual and auto scheduling tasks. Now, the default of Microsoft Project is what's called manual scheduling. This little light blue pin symbol that indicates manual scheduling. This is the default of Microsoft Project. Now, this can be used for controlling tasks one at a time, but shouldn't really be used for managing an entire project or process. So really the default of Microsoft Project has sometimes caused some organizations some difficulties because they didn't understand manual scheduling. So the idea behind manual scheduling is you schedule things yourself. So say I wanted to change the start date of task one to a different date. I'll choose a different date, 27th, and, and then you'll change task two to a different date. And this kind of idea. So I'll just change four dates. And one more. And this is the idea of manual scheduling. So you actually make changes yourself. But say now you wanted to update the entire project and a new start date is set and you want all the tasks to update accordingly. Manual scheduling will not work with this. So I'll just demonstrate. So if I'm going to change the project start date, so project tab, and I can then use the project information. And I'll just set the start date to, uh, let me go into December. And I'll click OK. And nothing changes. So the start date, in effect, is still on the 27th of, uh, of November. And the, the next date is the 29th of November. And then nothing's changed in line with the date that I've selected which is what I'd want them all to change to. Now this is because we use manual scheduling and we've actually done things ourselves. Um, this can be quite a limitation within project. Um, can be used at times, but like we see now, it doesn't link to some of the nice automated features in project like project start date. Something else it doesn't link to. There's a, there's a strong feature on project called setting constraints. Now, if I were to double click task one or any of the tasks, I'll just do task one, which is ID one, and go to the advanced section, the constraint type is grayed out. So they will not allow you to use constraints with manual scheduling, which is a way of delaying a task if there's a problem with a task and rescheduling it. So it's a lovely feature to have, but this is only available in auto scheduling. So I'm going to now update these four tasks to auto scheduling. Now I've made changes in manual scheduling. Go to the top left and highlight all tasks. And go to the task tab. And I'll go to the tasks section of the ribbon and change to auto scheduling. Now this now takes me to a different symbol. It's a blue rectangle with a little arrow underneath it. I've got the slightly different looking um, blue bars in the chart area of a Gantt chart. And if I were to now, for example, change the start date. And I wanted to say, okay, I want the start date to be back in November. They all go back and they follow the start date, which is what we want. So then we have to delay task two, for example, which is the ID two, and I'll just double click it. So there's a problem with this task, I set a constraint, and I'll say start no earlier than, and I'll look at the date. I'll say, okay, there's a problem with this, can't start any earlier than some date in December, so I'll just pick a date in December. Click okay, and straight away, the automated task moves on to show me there's a, a delay and the constraint then shows me there's a, there's a, 
uh, constraint being applied. And I could add a note to this if I wanted to. I could say delay of delay of material in a supply chain situation. So I'll just put a quick note. And there's the note that goes with it. If I wanted to remove the constraint with the auto schedule in, I can just double click the task. I can always give it a note by deleting it. To delete the constraint, it's as soon as possible. And now it's uh, back to the way it was. So automated gives you a lot of options that manual scheduling doesn't. So it's not to say that manual scheduling can't be useful. It can be at certain points if you want to control a task that's separate to a group of tasks that are linked together. Uh, if you want to update a project to um, auto scheduling by default, we could go to the file tab options, go to the schedule section. And where we've got new tasks created is manual scheduling. You could change it to auto scheduling. Now this will change it for this project only, but if you wanted to make it the default, you could choose all new projects. If you do that, just make sure, because sometimes it changes back to manual scheduling. Just make sure they both look exactly the same. So all new projects and auto scheduling is, is now matched up and that's now correct. Uh, and this would then update all future projects to be auto scheduled and being able to have all the nice automated features. This completes the demonstration on manual scheduling and auto scheduling tasks. See you in the next video.